Most people in America are familiar with what a military uniform represents to Americans as well as American soldiers as well as American fashion. American fashion is one thing, but American soldiers and their families is something else entirely. We seem to have a contingent of young students coming in from foreign nations that are mocking our military uniforms through their theft of not only the uniform fashion, but through their attack on a man's military uniform. They cut the bottom of the military cuff, and they are interfering with the man's right to portray his desire to have the honor of a military uniform upon him, around him, or near him. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and once again this morning, I wake to find my beard cut for the very few minutes of time in which I slept, maybe two hours. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and we have a good constituency of black, whites, and other colors of diversity that are attacking a man in the uniform. We have to stop and give pause to the fact that these people who are doing this have no regard for a military uniform, a military officer, or a military consultant who does exactly what he's supposed to do, points to the problems, points to the lying employees, points to the homeland security problems that we have in our cities. In life, we have to remind these children of foreign nations that they are guests in our country. We have to remind them immediately in retail stores and police that they are not in charge of you or me. The challenge we have is that we have children of all different preferences that think they are in charge of you and me. They come into your bodies, they take them for a week's time, and they ruin computers all the time. They ruin opportunities for people to earn, they ruin opportunities for people to not yearn, but they ruin opportunities for you and me. In America, underneath the Constitutional Charter, we have the right to pursue life, liberty, and happiness. When someone else decides to make a joke out of someone's life, like police officers, who are the lowest level of our quote-unquote theoretical local compliance to the military, we have a real problem. When we have men, men in a sheriff's department that are willing to tie a man's beard in the knot and then pursue him across the state line with their friends and families, to humiliate, embarrass, and destroy records on a man's life, we have a real problem because at no time were those people allowed or encouraged or embedded in his life. They chose to attack a stranger. They chose to attack what is lawful. They chose to attack what is right, and they do so regularly every night. They lie to themselves about the rights to do things. They lie to themselves about to pass by as if they got away with something, and they lie to themselves about their authorization to walk into a man's house, walk into a person's tent, and openly walk even underneath a covering, such as a carpet, not at all, but such as a tarp, to establish their rights over someone else. It's a sort of form of slave trade today. And openly, no one has a right to enslave someone else with their questions without getting a lawful answer in exchange. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and we have a real problem in our police departments today when blacks and whites and men and women feel they have the right to subdue, to attract, to harass, to harangue, to molest and to malign or to mutilate someone else's beard that is grown for their faith, someone else's beard that is grown for their sexuality or better yet for their sex, their gender, their speaking of this is who I am in the world, this is what I am under the guides of the, well, what should we call it? The psychological aspects of life. You see, the psychological aspects of life are pretty straightforward. Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And in Maslow's hierarchy of needs, we have the right to feed ourselves. We have, in other words, we have the right to eat. We have the right to sleep in peace. And that is something that American citizens are quite accustomed to. But in war-torn countries, in war zone places, in immature, immaterial, and materialistic countries, they don't care about our rights to safety during sleep. At the same time, we have the right to sex or sexuality, which is our right, until that desire crosses over the line into someone's life that is not asking, not accepting, and not requesting that sort of intimate behavior with someone else. At the same time, we have the right to pursue our, well, who we are, what's called self-actualization. And self-actualization says, I have the lawful right 
underneath the American guise of society to pick, to choose, to select what I am going to do for a living and how I'm going to earn, but at the same time, I have the right to choose, select, and pick what I'm going to say to promote myself, what I'm going to do to stay myself, and how I'm going to create my fashion for both my hair, my face, and my clothing to be myself. The liars who visit America, the liars who are in America, say, no you don't, I'm in control of you, as if they're a slave master and a slave trade that is not their right to participate in. You see, human trafficking today, human information trafficking today, is a major problem across America. It starts innocently enough, but we learn from the film enough with J-Lo that it's immoral and illegal to do this. It puts people who are in witness protection programs into jeopardy. It puts employees and companies into major legalities. And it openly puts little stupid gay boys who like to hack computers into lethalities from the military. The military has a right to wear their uniforms without someone insinuating, insulting, or interfering with that lawful right. The military does have the right to throw their uniforms away, should they choose, and they do have the right to leave themselves at bay if they wish. But in truth, no female officer, no male officer has the right to haze or harass a consultant to the military, a discoverer of the military, and a discoverer points in the directions of difficult people, difficult problems, and sadly, sometimes points in the direction of police departments. When we have illegal and immoral behavior in those, we end up with illegal records, immoral activity, illicit behavior, and a lot of stupidity. The stupidity is formed out of jealousy because the individual has never created one thing in their life. They don't understand intellectual property in any way, shape, or form because they've never built it in their life. And openly, they will enter the house, the home, the tent, the apartment, the hotel room, the motel room, the complex of anyone they like, and that is illegal behavior. In America, we have the right to provide for ourselves. And we provide for ourselves by being allowed to eat, to drink, to basically feed ourselves, to create for ourselves, to cook for ourselves, and to not be destroyed by other people. Does that make sense to you? Or is everything I've been communicating such a farcical joke that you think, like these 20-year-old boys in a staple shop, that they have the right to hack, harass, interfere, and cut or clip just for fun of it someone else's online activities, be included with a security department, of a stupid local shop called, gosh, what is it, E.F. Moran, to interfere with a man's lawful right to be on the computer or talking to Japan. The liars of a family, the liars of a farcical type of a police department, like to lie, steal, and cheat you and me out of our physical, physical, verisal, and intellectual rights. And that's the lie they tell themselves. They also lie that to occur on campus. They allow that lies to occur on campus, which basically means that if I am being pursued, if I'm being harassed, if I'm being mentally blasted, if I'm being beaten up in the night, it means that the strokes that we have are not self-inflicted. They're not natural to us. They are obviously caused by that harangment, that harassment, and that physical, violent abuse of us. The vandalism to property is also a real problem because a military person's uniform is personal property. No one has the lawful right to step into, step under, or walk into any tented situation to harangue, to harass, to cut, to abuse an individual's officer uniform, regardless of what branch they're wearing today or what branch they'll be wearing tomorrow. At no time do they have the right to do that. At the same time, they do not have the right to steal property. And the theft of property, we learn in the Army, is a big deal, which is why most of us won't support them, because they're not being trained, they're not being taught to behave themselves. They're out of bounds, out of control children that go to those sections because they have a love of guns, they have a love of hatred, they have a love of being debased in a way, but that's not the point. In the days of old, military was regarded, but local law enforcement are not worth that, are they? Because all they do is harangue, harass and interfere through abuse of any type, any nature, a person's life, a person's face, a person's private parts, a person's body, and for that they are total disgrace. 